What's up guys, it's your boy Neptune. Nah, this really is the wrong intro. Anyways, I'm back to Dark Souls 3 and I already fucking regret it, but whatever. We're just in time for the next big regulation update that brings a ton of changes to the game, preparing us for the upcoming DLC with the most retarded name I've ever heard of. Like, really from Solf, the Ringed City? Is this the best you can do? Anyways, let's just get straight into the patch notes. I will cover the interesting stuff, leaving the uninteresting stuff alone. Knowing from Solf, there's gonna be a good chance that I will regret covering patch notes before I get the actual values, but maybe I'll just do two videos to farm that six gorilla. Yeah. First one, two new maps added for the arena. Now, none of them represent what I actually wanted. And I did rant about it in one of my previous videos that I will definitely link in the comment section or description, yeah. Those arenas are better than the one we have currently, but th they're still far from perfect. Then again, at least it's some variety. From software being very generous, tripling the number of shitty maps we have, yay. Next up is the fucking team matchmaking for arena. Like holy bloody fucking hell, from soft. You were totally half a year late. I know people that were initially interested in Dark Souls 3 Arena only to be utterly disappointed when the news broke about it not having a proper matchmaking, with FromSoft adding it just fucking now, instead of sneaking it in within a week after the release of first DLC, tells me a lot about the mood they're in. Well, it doesn't really matter. The question is, are those people still interested in it? And I really doubt it, but is it a good addition? I definitely think so. Now, let's get into buffs and nerfs and all the good stuff. First up, slow ass guns like culture great swords, great hammers, and shit like that. They get improved motion treatment, as well as stamina cost reduction. What is improved motion bullshit? Well, only Miyazaki knows. I'm really unsure if they will mess with frame data. If they will though, it might turn out to be really interesting. Let's just wait and see. They also promise to boost AR for curved great swords. But then again, knowing from soft, it will probably gonna be some minuscule value that nobody will even notice, but yeah. Then we have katanas. Katanas get same motion treatment, except in different direction. Patch notes claim to decrease the motion of dashing attacks on katana. So, will that make it faster? <laughs> Chances are they will just slow it down to cater the half-wit kids that were crying 24-7 on how cancer katanas are. Well, whatever there is with the katanas, it's not the worst part. Now, I quote this. Shorten attack window of Kartus Kurt Sword and Dark Sword, Gargoyle Flame Spear and Follower Saber. Now, this is interesting and... Uh, I'm not gonna comment on it, I'll just wait for the values and see what the fuck they do, because knowing from soft and their patch fucking notes, yeah. The next thing they promise are changes to auxiliary effects. Supposedly, they're boosting poison and frost buildups, as well as decreasing base bleed rate and increasing the rate you get with infusion. They're also changing the way poison works by making it do more damage over a shorter period of time, and they're finally killing the bleed resin, yay. Again, knowing from soft, it will probably be 1% change at best. If not, this may open the door for cool gimmick builds in the future. Again, let's wait and see how it pans out. Speaking of infusions, they mentioned improving correction value for sharp and heavy infusions, while it being just adjusted for refined weapons. So the question is, will we see better infusion balance? I don't know. Improved defense and also reduced weight for heavy armor. I don't really think this will do much. Knowing how armor works in Dark Souls 3 and then knowing from soft with their shit values and this likely won't even be noticeable, so don't get your hopes high. So, at the end of the day, what do we have? Well, we have super late, potentially pretty good update. The real question is whether the good players will come back to play it and I really, really doubt it. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Not for me. I'll be definitely doing a detailed coverage once it all goes live and we get the values. The actual values. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.